friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today I get to share with you all a new game that I played on stream last week. I'm very excited about it. It's called Torchlight 3. I played it on PC but it just launched for Nintendo Switch yesterday and I thought this is going to be a perfect Switch game. I have to try it out. So I'm going to be sharing my favorite moments from the stream with you all but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I love this game. Take a second before we begin if you'd like to like the video as I thank Perfect World for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and everyone if you're watching right now Please remember to support those who support the channel because it gives me the freedom to give you the content that you want It gives me the freedom to not have to worry about the boring parts about being a content creator So if you'd like to check out Torchlight 3 the link is in the description below Give it a click take a look see what platforms are available But if you're not yet convinced, let me tell you some things about the game so it starts and I'm immediately enthralled because the character selection is incredible. You have your four classes to choose from. I had a really hard time deciding between Dusk Mage or Sharpshooter, but then I wanted to see the other characters and one of them is a robot, which is super unique. And then one of them has this intro animation that was just so saucy and intriguing, I immediately wanted to know more. But my absolute favorite thing was the name randomizer. I could just have a beautiful, wonderful fantasy name that was great and I didn't have to think too hard about it. I just clicked randomize until I found the one I wanted. I love that feature so much and it works for pets too. Love it. Thank you so much, game developers. There's four classes, yes, but there's also five relics to choose from, which opens up a lot of possibilities for different customizations and replayability. I went with Dusk Mage, and why I liked it is because Dusk Mage can cast both light and dark magic and has to balance them out to reach harmonic form, and I thought that sounded super cool because it's just like Red Mage in Final Fantasy XIV, which is my main. Sold immediately, I'm in. As I'm playing, I'm realizing these abilities not only look super cool, but they are so satisfying to cast. We're gonna do a fire pillar. Wow, that's cool. And also, it was super easy to learn. I didn't wanna spend a ton of time looking over skill descriptions and I didn't have to. One of them shot at a single target, one of them shot three bolts, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But even though I loved Dusk Mage, I really wanted to try out a new character and I wanted to try multiplayer. So for this playthrough, I selected the sharpshooter, which was just as fun and just as easy to learn. It was great. I'm a busy person. I play games on stream for you all the time. I play a lot of hours of games, but sometimes it's hard for me to pick a game for myself that's easy to pick up, that if I only have 20 minutes at the end of a really long, hard day, it's easy. And I don't have to relearn everything like I've had to do for some other games. Sometimes I don't have time for a big four hour commitment into relearning the game and reacquainting myself with the story. This, I can just pick up, play how much I want, and it is perfect for that. From gear to skills to traveling to different locations, looking at the map, it was just easy for my tired brain to play exactly what I wanted for how long I had. Now, the multiplayer experience, I really enjoyed. It was so fun for me to travel throughout the world watching my friend play and cast abilities that I had no idea what they are. Something just exploded over there. What just happened? I don't know, but it's super cool. Seeing all of the abilities go off at once was a really, really different and unique and awesome experience. And it's also gonna change every time you play with a new character. It was easy to add someone to my party. There are voice chat capabilities, which made communication wonderful. It is required to play at the same level of difficulty as the other player in your party. However, I think that made for a great experience because the monsters felt properly scaled. It wasn't too easy and it wasn't too hard. I had never played a Torchlight game before. This is my very first one. So there are some things that maybe were in previous games, but I don't really know, but I absolutely loved. The first is that there are pets. You could choose from the beginning from an owl, an alpaca, or a dog, and they're all super cute, and you can also randomize their names, you can choose their color, and they also have abilities that you can swap out depending on what abilities you have unlocked and what level you are. There's also the option to customize your fart, which is one of my favorite things in any game ever. I just like to feel like I have a home that I can rearrange furniture and listen. I like to do it in game. I could do it in my house, 
but I prefer to do it in game because it's much easier and I don't get bruises from moving the furniture or landing it on my foot, you know? Another thing that I really liked is that it seems like there's infinite capability to customize and upgrade your character, your gear, everything. I mean, in the time that I played, I felt like I had just barely scratched the surface. There are so many different ways to power up, but at no point did I feel overwhelmed by it. So I felt like that was just really good design. Speaking of good design, I felt like the standout feature of this game was the reward system. There were plenty of rewards and goals for short-term play, medium-term play, and long-term play. That way it felt like no matter how much time you have to devote to the game at that moment, it feels fun and rewarding. It feels like you're making progress. I think that's just evidence of a really well-made game. It also perfectly matched my own pace. My first playthrough on stream was slow and detailed, but my second playthrough in multiplayer was much quicker because I'd already seen a lot of the stuff and the game effortlessly matched my pace, which is just fabulous and super hard to do. Well, if I'm gonna talk about standout features of the game, I can't not mention pancake puns. Use this item to gain a 10% health boost for one minute. Unlike pancakes, this health boost does not stack. 10 out of 10, this game is a must buy. I love how goofy and fun this game is. I love that it doesn't take itself too seriously. As I mentioned, this game did launch on the Nintendo Switch yesterday, so of course I gave it a shot to see how it played. It played wonderful, it was easy, it was high quality, everything that you'd expect, and I also love that it was portable with the Nintendo Switch. I can totally imagine myself playing this at the airport when traveling becomes a thing again, or while waiting for dinner to finish cooking. It's great in that way. And now I'm gonna show you some gameplay from my stream. I hope you love it. If at any point you are like, hmm, I wanna learn more, you can feel free to click the link in the description below. Enjoy. Four great heroes venture deep beneath our world to defeat the Netherlord and seal the clockwork core using the heart of the dragon beast or track. But now, the heart surges towards the edge of destruction. Ordrak spirit pumps through the veins of Novastreya and infests the ember within. The power of the Netherum threatens the world once more. An ancient evil reborn, reinvented. <laughs> now it is up to you. Face the challenges ahead and defeat the Netherim. Do you choose fame, fortune, or the future of the frontier? Wait, there's choices in this game? Wait a minute. I can choose fame or fortune, but can I choose both? That's my question. Because I'm in general the kind of person who's like, why not both? I'm guessing here is where we get the chance to pick our fighter. Oh, I don't know what to pick. Okay, we're gonna pick Dustmage. Oh, we get to choose our gender. Okay, we're going with Dustmage. We're totally doing it. Okay, randomized name? Look it, I love this. The, okay, this is my favorite thing ever. I love not having to pick my own name. Look at all the different names you can be. Really wants me to be Amy, and I'm like, I don't want to be Amy. And Delion, that's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, we'll go with Endelion. Okay, let's read on Dusk Mage. Here, I'm gonna actually copy this because I'm kind of afraid we're gonna lose it. Dusk Mage, the Dusk Mage taps the power of Ember by balancing the forests, the forces of light and dark. Fleet of foot, mysterious and elusive, the Dusk Mage channels the light with precise ranged and melee attacks while embracing the chaotic darkness with destructive curses and multi-target missiles. Light and dark used in concert boosts the effectiveness of each, giving the Dusk Mage a variety of choices for every encounter. I mean, I love that. But what if we then took a look at Sharpshooter? Now I'm also curious, like I have to read this. The Forged, just for funsies. Let's read about Mr. Hammer over here. Oh, he's saucy. Look, look at him walk. 
Is it because his hammer is so heavy or is it just because he's like, is he a dancer? Okay. We're going with Dusk Mage. We're going to do it. Uh, should I make it look like me? I feel like I usually don't want to make it look like me. Okay, so we're changing our face here. That one's good. That one's good too. That one's a little older. I think I like this one the best because it's very feminine and I just tend to like feminine features. Hair we have. Love it. Okay, we got some short hair styles. We got some curly hair We got a Jimmy Neutron. Everybody, why haven't you bought this game yet? There's Jimmy Neutron in here. We have a, it looks like a ponytail or a bun. And then we have kind of our wavy hair. I kind of really like this like short little wavy bob. I don't know, like it looks just like me, it's fine. But all of my characters have ridiculous colored hair. I have never made a character that has normal color hair. Maybe we'll do purple? I kind of am digging peach though. But I like this lavender too. Okay, that's mm, so hard. Ah, decisions. See, it's good that this character customization is like not super intense because you all know very well I would be spending 8,000 hours here if there were any more decisions to make. I simply have a really hard time making decisions in character creators. Oh, it even gives you like a little overview of all of the skills. Okay, cool. Love, 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 love. Awesome, okay, so we got our name, we got our gender, we got our looks, we are not playing hardcore. <laughs> We're not playing permanent death because like I said, I really like a game that I can just pick up really easy. It's, it's easy for me and it's fun for me and it's casual. When I am tired and I wanna play a game for myself, I do not want it to be too hard. <laughs> so I like a game that is, that is not permanent death, okay? I can't handle that. That's not the game for me. Let's see. Relics. Oh. What do, what do we want our relic to be? What are our choices? Summon a cluster of spiders? No. Heal your own wounds while enemies bleed. I kind of like that one. Cold heart. Control crowds. Freezing, slowing, or knocking back immediate threats. Listen. I'm a slow pay slow paced player, so maybe Cold Heart is very helpful. Electrode, unleash an unpredictable surge of electricity, okay, for the gamblers out there. And Flaming Destroyer, consistently burn enemies and set things ablaze. Listen, that just sounds fun. But mm, I think we're gonna go, ooh, uh, uh, I really like the elements here. Cold Heart, Flaming Destroyer. I don't know, a lot of people in the chat are saying, let's do the flames. Let's do the flames then. I don't know, Blood Drinker sounds cool too. Oh, see, you, you see how I am with choices? It's too hard. Okay, we'll go with burn. Yeah, we'll be a fire, fire mage. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it, it's cool. Look at the animals, I love them. <gasps> we get to choose a pet. I have been so excited ever since I heard there were pets in this game. I have been so excited to choose a pet. I am very excited. Okay, oh, so hard. Listen, I'm, I'm a dog person. I'm not a bird person. I am like distinctively anti-bird. So I'm gonna not go with owl, but alpaca, pretty cute. I feel like dog in this fantasy world is just a little basic. I feel like I want to go with alpaca because it's a fantasy world. You can you can have a dog in real life. In fact, I do. I do have a dog in real life and I love her very much. But I can't have an alpaca in real life. They're smelly and they eat too much. It's very expensive. So listen, I'm going to go with alpaca even though you can't see its eyeballs. Uh, we're gonna randomize its name too. I love name randomizers built in because if I don't have it built in, I'm going to some external website.
Sure-footed and diligent, the alpaca is the practical adventurer's companion. Rescue more pets from bosses throughout the world and they will battle courageously at your side. <gasps> you can rescue more pets from bosses throughout the world. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got orange. We got, oh, I love this wine-colored alpaca. Oh, okay. I don't like the name Marbles. Sorcha's kind of unique and cool. All right, cool. We'll go with that. Select difficulty, you know me. I play every game I start on normal. So every single game, I'm on normal. Normal. It's a good place to start. If that's not accurate, I don't know what is. Into the game. I'm so excited to see how it goes. I love my character though. She's so cute. Right? She's like the cutest. Okay, occupied travail point. Quests, fortuitous arrival. Talk to Kenick, defeat the goblin raiders. Well, I hope there's not raiders already. We got fish over here. Oh, our alpaca, oh! <laughs> Wait a minute. I can just go around destroying random things? Oh no, this is gonna be a, oh, there's goblins. This is gonna be a slow playthrough. I am going to want to just destroy everything. I just came up to here to look at the fish and uh, there was a goblin in there. So what else can I destroy is the question. Doesn't look like I can go up here. Oh, I'll be back. Okay, Kinnick, what do you have to say? What are you doing, rookie? Don't just stand there. The fort is under attack. The goblin chieftain Wideload sent his flunky yapper to raid the outpost. He's gonna break the gate any moment now. Get up there, Lenahan! I'll catch up! Well, this rookie is gonna destroy this barrel first for some gold. Take. And then, yes, we're going to... Oh, loot these bodies? Sure. Okay, so we gotta get up there. Okay, so here's our, our little skills. Oh, things are going on. We, we, we gotta make this... Oh, our alpaca is attacking for us! Thanks, alpaca! What did I name you? Sorcha, so cute. It's a good thing I'm being so helpful to my friends. Whoa, that had an explosive in it. Okay, so, so far all I've been doing is, you know, clicking on these friends. Yeah, let's, let's kill these guys, sure. Just click on them and kill them. Smack them with my hand. Yep, nailing it so far. So far, so good. So these are on cooldown, it looks like. Okay, love, I got a health potion. Basic attack, strike targets in front of you for 60% weapon damage and holy bolt. Cool, with right click, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. First, I'm gonna smash these barrels. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Can I, Whoo! holy bolt. I keep missing, I'm bad. I don't think it can get to him. That's fine. Let's go up these stairs. Holy bolt on you! Yeah. You have gained a level. I have gained a level, and I love that it's like you have gained a level. That's adorable. Okay, level up characters to gain skill points. Spend skill points. Unlock skills are automatically assigned. Press S to open the skills panel. Will do. Active skill, holy bolt, so it looks like I can level this skill up, which I shall do, because I've already used it once. Press. Press and hold. It's a press and hold, everyone. Just so you know. Okay. Great. Nailed it. What else can we do here? Who are you? Goblins? Hey, you got this. You know what? You're right. I do got this. Oh, we gotta take that goblin out. We gotta deal with that. Leave my alpaca alone. 
Let me hit you with my giant hand. And I did. Oh, we're in a boss fight. Okay. I'm just, I'm just wailing here. Oh, I don't want to die. I definitely don't want that. I feel like my alpaca should be helping me. I'm just gonna fire some more holy bolts here. There we go. All right. All right, alpaca, just the boss then. Wow, we're so good at this. Wow, teamwork. Really did great here. Really did great. And there, we destroyed. Oh, oh look, and we get to collect some loot here. Okay, we got gear. Gonna press one to open my inventory. I'm gonna press L to open my, I'm gonna press I to open my inventory. That makes sense. Let's see, I have this Hardened Initiate's Doublet of Deftness. And it's much better than my Tattered Rags. Hey, look at that. So much better than my Tattered Rags. Great. Let's equip it. By right clicking. Wow, look at us. We look great. We're a great character. I love us. Okay, General Gray, what do you have to say? Couldn't have defeated Yapper without you. After years of peace, why attack now? No matter. Answers can wait. The wounded need help, and the dead need peace. I need you to take the fallen soldiers' swords to Hero's Rest and lay them upon the altars. Hurry back once you're finished. We're just getting started. Okay, so um, we have rewards for this quest, and, I, and then I have to choose one of these rewards. So, looks like this is a new weapon, because right now we have the Initiate Digitus. Digitus, I guess that's our big hand that we got, that's like, pachoo! Just like that. Let's see, steel reach, uh, basic attack, strike targets in front of you for 60% weapon damage. Sure. You're welcome, thank you. Wow, look at all this stuff, I love. Wow, I love looting, it's the best. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's destroy these things. Let's just get a little extra, oh, we're on fire. It's fine, it's fine. It's a trap! Oh no! Okay, we need to worry about our health a little bit. Logan, get out of there! Oh, sorry, it's Logan. Excuse me. You know, maybe we just take a little health here. Ah, oh, there we go, healed up. Great, that's what I like to see. Okay, so mostly we're pretty much good around here. We just got this mission here to go to Edgewood Bluff and we can't really... I mean, we can we can start smashing other things, but we can't really get through. Okay, to Edgewood. Oh, look, it goes down into the ground. To Edgewood Bluff we go. Onwards. Oh, that's grim. These goblins are a problem. Are they not? It seems like they are. Quest. A snake. What are you, oh. I crushed it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Why did it have to bleed and everything? Oh, it's terrible. Poor snake, it des deserves so much better. Ooh, what is this? A barrel? A chest? What's happening? Oh no, it's another trap! I will take those pancakes. Consumables, such as bundles, recipes, and scrolls are single-use items. Wow, why am I getting a Breath of the Wild vibe around here? Okay, single-use items. Press I to open your inventory, locate the consumables, select the consumables tab. Oh no, what's going on down there? My alpaca! No! I couldn't even read the consumables thing. 
Leave my alpaca alone! Holy bolt, all of you. My poor baby. Deserves so much better. Okay. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Oh, we, I guess we can... Um, that reminds me of Diablo too. Holy moly. Being able to like unearth piles of rocks. That's Diablo 2 vibes for sure. Okay, so consumables. Right, here we have... Oh, we didn't even equip our item. Okay, so let's equip our Blazing Steel Reach. Wow, this is like a like a claw instead of whatever this is. Okay, that's our loose vest. Well, we kind of much prefer our magical chest. And pet items, potions, consumables. Use this item to gain a 10% health boost for one minute. Unlike pancakes, this health boost does not stack. It's always a good time here at Strange Trouble Gaming. We love those puns. Now, well, we ate it, okay. Maybe it would have been cool to equip it, but we ate it instead. And now, for one minute, we get some health. And shrine, I'm on fire. I'm, I'm exploding things. All right. So it seems like maybe I wanna be clicking those shrines when I have enemies around me, because now... What is this? So we wanna do a little bit of dark magic here to balance the scales. about this. Just gonna destroy you for a second. Okay, so it says light bar full. Fill the dark bar to gain harmonic form. And I'm pretty sure this is a light skill and this is a dark skill because it's purple, I'm gonna assume. But if I'm... I wonder if there's like a... Let's see, skills. Spend mana to activate skills. You use dark skills to charge the dark bar and light skills to charge the light bar. Both of these bars border your mana resource. When both bars are full, enter harmonic form, lasting until the bars are drained. Harmonic form significantly increases damage and mana regen. Love that. Okay, so what we need then is to, ah, we haven't activated any dark skills. So it would have been nice if we had done that, but we didn't. So, <laughs> so we're definitely gonna wanna do that when it's time. Pet skills, does my pet have anything yet? Defensive posture, yeah, my pet has battle cry. Allies gain 25% increased damage. Defensive posture, active skill, all allies gain damage resistance, okay. Uh, slot unlocked at level five. So I can either choose increased damage or increased damage resistance. And for now, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay, so we were exploring, ooh, look at this. What's going on in here? My goodness. Cannon? Well, it's a good thing we shot that and knew what we were doing. All right, so we've done quite a bit of exploring here. Yep, we've done this area. Now we have a little bit more of this area to explore. Yep. We're looting coffins. Yep, that's what we're doing. Looting them coffins. Your pet is back. My pet is back. Thank you. All right, I've entered, what's it called? Magical harmonic form. Come on, fight me. Come on, somebody fight me while I'm in harmonic form. Quick. <laughs> it's over. All right, I'll just do some node reaping then. And um, more looting and then, and then you better watch out zombies because I'm coming for you. Doing some more node extraction and we're doing great at it, honestly. Some skulls to bust open. Great. 
Okay, we'll definitely be destroying you all. Yep, better watch out. Pet, you stay alive. Pet, you stay alive. Oh boy, oh boy. Gotta make sure I stay alive. Gonna be entering harmonic form shortly here. So you better watch out because you're about to get wrecked. <laughs> I'm burning, I'm burning. Get out of it. I'm in harmonic form. Oh, there's so many of them. Woo, I got it. Wait, I can't look at level four right now. I'm burning, I'm burning. I know, I know. I gotta do this though. Ooh, I made it through this boss fight. Oh my gosh. Oh, a cutscene. Your punctuality pleases me, my daughters. Brawl, report on your progress in Zorasha. I have dominated the goblin tribes. Their chieftain wide no answers to me now. Our assault on the human army starts here. Very good, Brawl. Very good. Sadista, what of the Void Ember? I am close to cracking the riddle of the Void Ember, Mother. I expect to solve it very soon. No. Insolent child, I need results now! The vessel is useless without the Void Ember. The gateway, too. I will tolerate no further disappointments. Do you understand? Yes! Mother. Yikes. Well, she's clearly not the favorite child. For your own sake. Varys, I trust your update will be more promising. I have narrowed down the location of the gateway to a mountain range in the north. It's only a matter of time before I find the gate. And the vessel along with it. Excellent. Sadista. You should follow Varys' example. I will try, Mother. See that you do. Now go, my daughters. My dark outlanders. See that my will be made. Wow, this art is so cool. It looks so good. And I'm also, like, fascinated to find out more about the sister dynamic because holy moly. What is, why can't I destroy this pulley? Use the pulley. Well, I guess I did it. Oh, this is cool. A little dungeon layer cutscene. Okay. Why am I so afraid this is gonna be extra hard now? Oh no! Ay. Okay, I guess... We have to warp in! Oh, I'm kinda nervous! I'm so scared! Okay, I need you to believe in me. I need everybody to believe in me, alright? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not gonna do well. It's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. Here we go. It's moving a little bit faster than my uh, fire pillar, which is not great. Oh, it's got a charge. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, that's good. Do a little bit of crowd control here. Yep, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, you're doing okay so far. Nope. Yep, yeah, okay, good. A little bit more crowd control. Yep, yeah, good so far. Yep, yeah, okay. As long as I can keep dodging the charge, I think I'm gonna be okay. Ooh, ooh, that was a little spicy for me. Oh no, there's so many of them. What's happening? We're doing it, I mean, slowly but surely. 
Woo, okay. There's pillars falling from the ceiling. There's a lot of damage coming out. Let's take a health. Oh, 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 stalagmites. Oh no, I did not see the wide load over there. No charge, no charge. Okay, we need a little bit more light magic. We're almost there. Heal, heal, heal. Oh no, not these. Okay, 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 okay. He's almost down, he's almost down. Woo, 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 woo! Okay, 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 focus on him, focus on him. Oh no, not the stalagmite. Okay, another pillar of light and it should be, yes, done. Yes, we did it, we did great. We got another tendril. we got Wide Load's Cave Breaker, Mask of the Silent. We did great, oh man. And what pet do we get this time? I'm so excited to find out. Okay, let's open up our chest here. We've got gold, four days. We've got horn shoulders, plated club, horn shoulders, corn, goblin stalker tights. Okay, what pet did we get? This is the moment of truth. We got an alpaca. This one's white, I love it. Okay, what are we naming it? Nicodemus, that's a pretty funny name. Trousers is actually kind of cute. Oh, Montana, that's a really cute name. Okay, you can hang, Montana. And that's gonna be all for today's gameplay video. I hope you loved it. I certainly did love playing it. I wasn't sure, honestly, because like I said, I'd never played a Torchlight game before. And I mean, you see Torchlight 3 and you think, oh, it's a sequel, I have to play the other ones. That's not the case at all. You can totally enjoy Torchlight 3 without having played any of the previous games, and I know that was the case for me. Thank you once again to Perfect World for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. If you're watching right now and you want to support them in kind, if you want to learn more about the game, see what platforms it's available on, like I said, it just launched for the Nintendo Switch yesterday, which is very exciting for them. Please do click the link in the description below to learn more, to buy the game, whatever you'd like. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Please remember to like the video. If you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe to this channel, Strange Rebel Gaming, so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you all. Bye!